Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. This is week three, day 15. We got a full body workout lined up for you. And we have a special guest, action, action, action. Welcome to week three, day 15 of the Transform 30 Day Challenge. Today I have a special guest, Miss Victoria Beck, who decided that she wanted to come out, get a nice workout in. I might kick her ass or she might do it by herself. Either <laughs> one, either way. I don't know. Are you ready? I'm ready, you ready? I've been ready. She been ready, she was born ready. So day 15, <laughs> full body workout. Uh, this should be fun, follow along. Hope you have a wonderful, wonderful time. Because this shit is gonna suck. We're gonna warm it up just a bit before we get into these movements, this warm up, you know, jumping jacks. 35 seconds, let's get it. Next up, following along with Victoria, we have Trunk Twist, 35 seconds. Up, we have shoulder circles. Alright, moving into round one, we're getting into these movements, our first of many. We have the dumbbell single arm row to fly, 10 reps each side. Now in this plank position, make sure that your feet are a little wider than shoulder width apart. It's going to help you ground yourself, help you stay strong through your base, through your core, don't let your back sink in. You 
rowing, pulling that elbow up, keeping it close to your body, and you're flying out. So you're rowing up, bring weight back down, fly out. We're gonna take it down to our mats. We have elbow plank rows, 30 rotations. These elbow plank rows have a solid core, solid foundation. Try to bring your feet in just a little bit. I really place emphasis on keeping that core and those hips square. Try not to rotate too much. You let your hips drop down. You know, your hips drop unevenly. Try to keep them in alignment. Alright, internal hip rotations, 15 reps each side. Now on the internal hip rotations, I want you to take your bottom leg and make sure it's bent underneath, like you see in this video. And then your left leg, you the top leg, you're gonna lift it up. And as you're bringing it back down to the ground, internally rotate your hip, taking your toe and touching it to the ground. That's where you're really gonna get to work and you're gonna feel that, uh, you're gonna feel the activation of your quad as well as your glute and your hip. So make sure you're lifting that leg, toe goes parallel to the ground, and then as it's going down towards the ground, it rotates internally, touching the toe towards your mouth. We have dumbbell oblique twist to reach, 15 reps each side. With the dumbbell oblique twist to reach, notice that your legs can be up, your feet can be off the ground, but if that's too much for you, take your feet, place them on the ground, make sure you're getting a full twist through your torso, get that weight as close to the ground as possible, and then reach up and across your body at an angle that's fully extending that dumbbell. Make sure to control this movement. Keep your, your lower back in alignment. And take your time with the motion. It's not about speed, it's about control and precision.
okay, okay, okay. We have gorilla rows. With these gorilla rows, we're going 15 reps each side. The point of emphasis in these gorilla rows is making sure that you have a flat back. Those dumbbells are placed out in front of you. Just to the point where your arms are extended forward a bit, pulling up and back into that row position. Also make sure that your heels are in contact with the floor. Don't, don't push up on your toes. Keep those heels flush against the floor. Maintain a flat back. Drop your heels. Up next, we have kettlebell squats to upright row, 15 reps. Kettlebell squats to upright row. I want your feet out a little wider than shoulder width. You're sitting down, dropping your hips down and back into that squat. Your knees are tracking over your ankles. And as you come out of that squat, pull the dumbbells up in front of you, elbows above parallel to the ground. Up next, we have dumbbell floor press with leg lift, 10 reps. Now with the dumbbell floor press with leg lift, I want you to really focus on maintaining contact with your back, your lower back in the ground, right? Taking up your elbows, bringing them down to the ground, those weights lift up above your chest, touching the center, and in a simultaneous motion, you are lifting your legs. Your legs lift on the press. Oh yeah, this one's gonna challenge you just a bit. It's a side to side push ups, 10 reps each direction. Now with these side to side push ups, you may find yourself getting a little fatigued. So if that's the case, bring your knees down to the ground like you see Victoria doing right here and modify the push up.
stuff. I like the effort right now. We're gonna move right along with round two. Let's get it. If you find that the dumbbells are, are a lot of pressure on your hand, place one hand flat on the mat while keeping the dumbbell in the opposite hand. You don't have to keep both dumbbells in your hand. position.
control this motion. Make sure you have full control of those dumbbells, those kettlebells, rather. Finish strong and focus in. This is your best round yet. Round three. Let's get it. I'm proud of you all. Thank you for showing up for yourself. Thank you for committing. Thank you for doing the hard work. Press through. You're already here. You might as well press and push through.
<laughs> keep working. You know what it is. You got these elbow plank rolls, left to right. Roll those hips, engage that core. Stay strong through your core. Job. Great work, great work. I love to see it. Keep it up. might not look like much, but in these internal hip rotations, you're gonna feel that burn. If you do these correct, you're gonna feel that burn. So I need you to embrace the burn, embrace the pain, embrace the, the fire. I need you to, to hug it, get, be comfortable with it. Love it, because that's how you're gonna get better. That's how you're gonna transform. When you feel that pain, you push through it. You actually embrace it. And that's when the mind becomes stronger. That's when the spirit becomes stronger. That's when the body transforms and it becomes better. It becomes elevated. So I need you to lock in. The oblique twist to reach, 15 reps each side. Let's rep them out. Come on, it's the pace we about to catch. Let's go. One, two, three, four. There it is. Five. Find it. Six. Work. Seven. You got it. Eight. Commit. Nine. Come on. This is effort. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. 13, two more, 14, last one, and 15, switch, we're going right into the other side, come on, let's go. Stay strong. You're already here. You focus. You committed. I know the round is getting long. I know you're doing a lot of movement, but it's okay. Keep going. Keep pushing. Keep fighting. Keep showing up for yourself. Gorilla Rose. I want you to rep these out.
Maintain that pace, maintain form, keep that back flat, maintain the integrity of your spine, keep your hips low. Knees are tracking over your toes, over your ankles. Stay strong, pull. Try to pull deep into your back, pull. Drive that elbow up. Make these count. Make every single rep count. Stay focused, stay locked in, stay committed to your goal, rep it out. here now you're here you might as well get the most out of it you come all the way this far like you come this far already you, you're day 15 you keep going you don't need too much motivation from me you should be locked in on your goal right now Last but not least, this is the one. This is the one that's gonna test you. You got 10 reps on each side. Dumbbell floor press. Then you got 10 reps on each side. Side to side push-ups. The last one. Finish strong, last but not least. I want you to give yourself a round of applause. You just completed day 15. I will welcome you back here tomorrow. See you tomorrow sharp for day 16.